Hi, Chris Dicker from IFM here, Product Manager for Octavis, Operation Monitoring Equipment. Today we're going to change an IP address from the default. A lot of people have trouble doing this. Uh, it's not too bad to once you understand what it's trying to do. So basically, I've got a default address here for this VSE151. You'll see that this is the default 192.168.0.1. Uh, you can see it in the in the default settings here as well, with a subnet mask on here as well, and a gateway. So, if I just to prove that it's working, I give it a bit of a bash there. You can see the information come up on the FFT here. We will also give it a ping, so we can see that it actually is talking. Two dot one six. 8.0.1 and you can see that we're getting a return from the unit to actually signify that we are actually talking to that unit. So if we want to change it, your IT or someone will give you a new address for this particular device. So let's change it to something radically different. So 10.2.1 uh, 0.125 for example you'll also need to change the gateway IT will give you that as well so we'll put it in the same range 2.0.254 okay so there's our new address 10.2.0.125 that gateway is 10.2.0.254 and now You'll see that the original address is still up here. Now we're just going to uh, write it. So, writing the TCP uh, settings to the device. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Okay, so now you can see that's actually rebooting the device. And now it's lost connection because we're not in the right range anymore. So, it's unable to reconnect. Okay, this may be due to your network settings, which it is because I just changed it. So if we ping this again, ping 2.168.0.1, and you'll see that I'm not getting any return because it's not, not at that uh, unit anymore. So uh, to actually get it to read again so that this is now that's, that's actually changed so i can't ping it even with a new address because i'm on the wrong network now so I've got to go to a network adapter chain settings, go to Ethernet, change adapter options, go to Ethernet, and they're ready. And so that's why it's not working, so we're going to go, so that'll be 10.2.0.130. Because the PC again. And we also need to put in our gateway, 10.2.0.254. Okay, close, close, close. And then if I reread again, you should see that this address that will change up to the, what this one is. And now it should connect. And there we go, we've got a connection. So that's how, how you change the IP address. IFM, close to you.